Welcome to the Deeper Start Quick Guide. We will show you how to start using your sonar as well as some basics that you should know. To get started, scan the QR code on the sonar box or visit the application store on your device and search for Fish Deeper. To use the app, you will firstly need to create an account and log in. We recommend doing this at home, where you have a stable internet connection. Also, download the offline map of your region. It will allow you to see the world map, even if there is no internet in your fishing location. Before using your sonar, make sure to charge it. Once the light stops flashing and becomes constant, it means your sonar is fully charged. To connect your sonar, place it in water. Then, go to your phone settings and open your Wi-Fi networks. Find the deeper Wi-Fi network and connect to it. Once connected, open Fish Deeper. Use a strong knot. Before casting, make sure your line is not tangled at the tip and will pass through cleanly without the bail closing. Inspect your line from time to time to make sure it is not frayed. When casting, be very careful not to land the sonar on hard surfaces such as the ground, trees or rocks. Deeper sonars are capable of maintaining a connection at very long distances, but there are a few things to keep in mind if you wish to achieve the maximum range. First, let's set up your smartphone or tablet. For Apple devices, make sure to disable the Wi-Fi Assist feature. For Android devices, disable the Switch to Mobile Data feature. Depending on the device, it may not have this feature, or it may be named differently. We recommend turning off mobile data, aka cellular data, when using your sonar. When casting your sonar, do not place your phone on the ground or in your pocket. The Wi-Fi signal from the sonar is received best when the phone is at chest level. When your sonar is stored away for long periods, make sure to fully charge it every six months. A discharged battery degrades over time and loses its capacity. If your sonar's water contacts look dirty or discoloured, use a rough sponge to clean them. This will prevent the sonar from not being able to detect water.